Methods in Java can be pretty tricky, but I promise you if you watch this video, you'll have a fully working program using methods. What's up? It's Alex back again, helping you learn Java. On this channel, I make Java tutorials just like this all the time. So if that's something you're into, then consider subscribing. A method is just a chunk of code that you run with one line. I'll show you that right now. First, let's just set up this project by creating a new Java project. We'll call it methods and we will throw our Java class in here by right clicking source, going to new class. We'll call it methods again. Take this first check mark and hit finish. Let's say we have a little calculator program here. We have an integer called a that is equal to five. And we have an integer called b that's equal to like 10. If we wanted to multiply these two numbers, a times b, we would print it out to the screen. Print line a times b. You save it and run it, you'll get 50. If we wanted to do this exact same thing, but for two different numbers, well, we could copy and paste it, change these variables to something different, and then change the numbers. And if we save and run that, we get six. If we wanna do this a third time, you know what we'd have to do, we'd have to copy and paste this again. And this can be really annoying. But let's say we did wanna do this three times like that, and this is where methods come in. We can call these nine lines of code with just three calls to our method. To make a method, we type public static void. So name your method, we will call this multiply. Put some parentheses and some curly braces. You'll notice that this is almost the exact same format as this right here, public static void main. That's why this is called the main method. It's a special chunk of code that's run when you hit the run button. To pass values into your method, you would type them in here in these parentheses. We'll say A and B. And then what do we do, wanna do? Well, we want to print out the multiplication of A and B, like that. So we can just replace these lines with our method. So we have <coughs> A is five and B is 10. We will just say multiply, five and 10. If we save this and run it, we will still get the 50 because our multiply method does exactly the code that we want it. So we'll replace this, we have two and three, and then we'll multiply six and eight. And this looks so much better than what we had before, but it does the exact same thing. If we change this, we wanted to do uh, five times a hundred, we could easily change it right then and there. So let's keep practicing. Let's say um, we want to welcome our guest to our calculator program. We could do it like that, or we could practice methods and we would do public static void um, welcome. Welcome will be the name of our method. It can be named anything. And we will stick our welcome message in the welcome method and just call it like that. And then this code will go into welcome and do whatever in there. Let's save it, run it. We get that method call. Let's do one more method example and we'll call it divide. So to start a method, we just do some keywords. Um, not sure exactly what it means yet, but we know that this will make a method. Public static void. We'll call it divide and we'll throw in our two numbers we want to divide. And we'll put that code inside these curly braces. So we print out A divided by B, just like that. And then we'll do some division. We'll say divide 20 and five. 100 divided by 10, 66 by 11. Save that, run it, and we see everything is working properly. This makes it really easy to reuse code whenever you want. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you can get new videos from me the day they come out. If this was helpful, smash that like button and share it if you think it might help someone you know. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, and I appreciate it. Catch ya.